Yo up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. Today I'll be doing another match day vlog, this time it's the Group D fixture between Tonga and the Cook Islands being played at the Riverside Stadium there in the Borough. This is an important match for both sides because with Tonga, even though at the top of the group, a loss today and a win for P&G over Wales, depending on the for and against, could mean that they could finish second in the group. As for Cook Islands, they have to win this game because... It looks like PNG will beat Wales, so Cook Islands, the pressure's on for them to get a win. It's a big, tough ask for them to do against a, a Tongan side, which is one of the favourites for the tournament in most people's minds before the tournament actually started. But strange things have happened in Rugby League, and um, I'll be heading over to the Riverside Stadium very shortly, so stay tuned for the rest oh, of the vlog. Right just waiting for a bus to head down to the borough there. It's a very windy day outside, as you can see. <laughs> My phone's getting ripped out of my handbag a bit there. It's been made it overnight. I think today is going to be very good for the kickers. I think if you do a couple of high kicks, that ball's going to be swirling everywhere. And um, the good thing about going to the Borough is that there's about three or four buses that you can catch there, so it's not too long to get there, but about five or ten minutes in total. So just waiting for the bus now, and I'll be in the Borough shot. And as you can see, it's a, a hotbed of activity at the moment. It's got this uh, delightful old building there. And, um, as you can see, there's not really much going on. I wouldn't even know there's a game on today, but heading up to one of the pubs now to advertise. <laughs> Just heading up to uh, the Riverside Stadium now. Had a pint in the pig iron there, which is the, the Boris supporters pub. Had a couple of funny looks in there as well from people, which was kind of strange because there was uh, some old KR fans in there, York fan, but um, I don't know, maybe it might be a jealousy thing, maybe the fact that we've won the last four in a row in, in the Super League is the reason why people are a bit giving me the look and all that, but walking up to the ground now and the sun has finally come out, which is nice. And uh, as you can see up there, that's the famous McDonald's there. Them lads across the road, they gave me a funny look. One of them had a Sydney Roosters Eastern Suburbs hat on. But same, um, eh, heading up to the game now. Outside the middle to a lot of shop as well. Um, there's a bit of background on the Riverside Stadium, built in 1995, Please there's a park. Just earlier in the video, I think I showed you the gates of uh, the Aldeas Park there. But, um, and this, one, this ground holds 34,000 people. I think there'll probably be about 10,000 in today. So, um, uh, this stadium's about 25 years old, it was opened in 1995. So that would make a 27 year old, but as you can see, it's quite big. I'll head in shortly to the middle spring football game. Yeah. And there's the Bura kits for this year. Probably about £100 or so. It's a decent shop, like.
currently 10-0 the Tongi. Cook Island's trying to work it out of their own 20 metre zone. They find it difficult though at the moment. Getting driven back. There we go, six again for Cook Islands. We're on the attack, 10-0, second tackle. Adam Fanua Blake. He's held up about five metres away from the line. Third tackle, they go right. Talma Lolo out the back. Lola here, caught with the ball. Fourth tackle, they go right again. Back on the inside, a nothing pass from Paloma Tungi. Back to Jason Tamalolo, who scores. Another easy try for Tungi. This time, Felice Cabusi makes a line break. Makes it 20 0 to Tungi at the moment. Currently 22 0 the Tonga at the moment. Lola here tackled with the ball. This is the third tackle at the moment. There's Talma Lolo again. Already got two tries to the Tonga already on the back on, on the front foot with Cook Islands on the back foot. Oh, good kick. Yeah. Another Tom and try straight off the kickoff. The referee's given it as well. Tonga is just relentless here. It's 46 now, it's nearly half time, and they made another line break through Dango Tupo. Here they go again. They're just breaking off tackles like. Cook Islands have been very poor, very, very poor. Another kick. Finally, Cook Islands get the ball. Finally. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, they get a penalty. Set up for one last attack before half time. About 20 seconds to go. Hits the gap. And a stick from Australia's most hated player, Kafuse. He scores for Tommy. And that's 50 0 at half time. So it's going to be about 52 0 to Tommy in just a moment at half time. There it is. Currently 58 nil the Tonga. Seven minutes into the second half. And already they're at what? Nearly the halfway line third tackle. Just making too many meters. Couture breaks out and then straight away like this. Back on the inside of Tessie New. He puts down the accelerator and go over. And that's just fucking soft. One of the highlights of the day, they've got Thiegsen's on tap. How good. I love Thiegsen play. The Islands can keep Tonga down here at Fars and Mistake. This is something that they've really struggled with all game. Trying to keep Tonga in their own half. Stop giving away daft penalties and six again. And see already, this is the third tackle. Tonga's already up near the half of the year line already. Fords are just making too many metres for Tonga. Cook Islands finally have the ball. One of the first times in the second half they've actually touched the ball inside Tonga's half and now they're in the 20 meter zone can they get a try one try Takarangi with the ball 
these tacos. The Bora Faithful Asian, the Cook Islands on. Dummy half. Here we go. Here's a try. Oh. Go. Touch and go. Cook Islands get a try. Takarangi out to Ford. Through the hands. This small but Oh, here we go. Penalty to Cook Islands. Will he take the two? <laughs> Comes the Inter of Arno. The former Eastern Suburbs and Penrith player now at Leeds. First tackle. What will he do? Here we go. It's going out, Masters. Yeah! Try. Cook Islands have the ball again. Can they get another try before full time? There's seven minutes to go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, fucking tongue around you, stuff. Eight thousand three hundred and forty-two to the year the attendance so and the ground holds thirty-four thousand so pretty poor turnout. Takarangi scores off an intercept. <laughs> that was fucking crafty that day. That was fucking crafty. Oh, 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 oh. 